I ordered some comfrey off Etsy and this is what it looks like. This is the uh, Russian comfrey that does not self seed so I don't end up with comfrey all over my yard. Let's get it planted. I've chosen to pot my comfrey in a root pouch because it's I don't have enough for the purpose I need it for. The reason I bought this comfrey was because I read it makes a fantastic weed barrier. So I'm going to use it around my pear tree that I'm going to plant in a couple of weeks. My um, comfrey won't be ready by then, but hopefully by fall it'll be big enough I can divide it into enough pieces to make a that barrier that I was mentioning earlier. This comfrey that I have chosen is called Blocking 14 Russian Comfrey and it doesn't spread by seed, it only spreads by root. I shouldn't have a problem with it spreading anywhere I don't want it to unless I use a rototiller or something. Every little piece of root that gets left behind will make its own plant. So if you want to plant this in your yard, it's going to stay where you put it. <laughs> Even if you chop it, uproot it, do whatever you want, it's going to stay there. But it's not going to spread across your yard. This is going to make probably the best natural weed barrier that I can find. Plus, because comfrey is so nutritious, when I cut the leaves back, I can leave them around the tree and it'll provide nutrients for the pear tree. And I'll have to make sure there's plenty of nitrogen from glass clippings and such so that the Comfrey doesn't steal the nitrogen from the tree. But another reason I wanted to plant this is because comfrey is a very nutritious snack for the chickens. It's supposed to be one of the highest protein plants that you can grow. And of course there's the medicinal uses such as making a salve or if you have a, an injury you can make a paste to put on it. But anyway, Russian blocking 14 comfrey. Here are the items that I'm going to use to plant my comfrey in. I'm going to use one of these cloth pots from that I got from a neighbor and the reason I'm doing that is when you plant in one of these pots it does something called air pruning. So as the roots hit the side they prune themselves off as soon as they touch the air and then they grow laterally. So my understanding is plants that go into a pot like this will have a massive root system. There are two other things that I need to add to this mix and that's peat moss which is not showing and compost which is also not showing. Two parts peat moss which I retrieved from a raised bed that I have somewhere else. One part compost. There we go. Some perlite. Some lime. Because the comfrey likes the soil to be a bit acidic. And a handful of Epsom salt. Now I'm going to mix this all up, which is going to create a fantastic wicking system. Because I'm going to put the pot in a tub of water and it can absorb the water as it needs it and it's a self watering system because I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to water every day it's to me that's like the most boring job on the planet anyway to make a long story short this is a special mix that allows water to wick up into the fabric pot easily there it is all mixed up essentially what I've done here is I made my own moisture control mix for a lot cheaper and it's way better than what you buy in the store. <laughs> now due to technical difficulties I'm going to pause for a moment as I fill this cloth pot with soil. This is a surprise. I ordered one crown and they sent me two. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay time to cover them up. 
this pot definitely looks over full and it is for now but don't worry in a few days this will settle down and I'll probably have about this much in the top and I'll probably mulch that um, let me show you where this plant is gonna live and this is where I have the pot this watering system um, is something I copied kind of fudged a little bit because I'm supposed to be using pole liner here and I didn't have any so I used some painters plastic <laughs> but anyway how I did the system there's a little floater over there that maintains the level of the water before I walk away from this plant I'm going to water it from the top because the wicking system won't work if it's dry as a good note for those of you who plant in pots you have to use moisture controlled soil and the soil has to stay moist in order for it to wick the water up from the bottom so let's water this it's looking good I've got two plants going one two hopefully by spring I'll have enough roots growing in this pot to chop up into little pieces I'll plant them all around my tree about a few inches apart and that should create a natural weed barrier around my fruit tree Y'all have a fantastic day!